There are so many criminals, but there aren't a lot of smart criminals. The worst kind of criminals are those who repeat patterns, those who do the same thing constantly, thinking that they're not going to be caught. Especially in a country like the United States of America, where crime is only a matter of time. And the police over there, they work very hard to apprehend criminals. Which is why I don't understand why this Nigerian man traveled all the way from Nigeria to the United States of America and you would expect that he would get a decent job, live an upright life, contribute to the society, but instead he turned to an armed robber. A man dubbed Blue Cloth Bandit for his alleged habit of using a cloth to cover a handgun during a string of more than five dozen robberies over a span of nearly two years. His name is Charles Chukuma Onwemelie, 29 years old, and was arrested at his residence on Saturday after he was being held on 1.4 million bail, according to the Los Angeles Police Department and the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Since October 2021, there has been 68 armed robberies of businesses attributed by the investigators to the same suspect. So what they're saying here is that this man has robbed different stores in America. He has gone to grocery stores, convenience stores, gas stations, 68 of them. And during their investigation, detectives discovered that the suspect commonly used the blue cloth to cover the handgun used in the robberies that occurred at gas stations, 7-Elevens, and Walmarts. Imagine that. And these places all have CCTV cameras. So it's very unlikely that you walk in here, rob continuously, 68 times and not worry about getting caught. You are going to get caught eventually because the police study patterns. And in this case, using a blue cloth to cover a gun, they're just going to start walking from there. Now look at how he does it. The suspect will conceal himself by wearing different hats, a face mask and rubber gloves. According to the police, the same vehicle was involved in many of the robberies. Now you see why I said at the beginning of this video that there are lots of criminals, but there aren't a lot of smart criminals. Now look at all he does. He changes his hat, his outfit, rubber gloves, but he forgot to change his car. So now, and, and, I mean, all these places, like I said, they have CCTV cameras and once they capture it, they start walking from there. So he left breadcrumbs for the police to walk on. And that's because he's not smart. And I'm not here to support him. I'm glad that he's caught, but some things need to be said. So when the suspect planned to strike again on Friday, September 23rd, detectives set up a plan. They initiated surveillance and ultimately served the search and arrest warrant. He was arrested at the residence and evidence linking him to the robberies was also recovered at the scene, including a gun. Meanwhile, this man got married in July. He threw a lavish wedding and people were, oh, gushing and everything. The wedding was beautiful. His bride is beautiful. I mean, I mean, looking at the pictures, you would think that these are young people trying to build a life for themselves. You would imagine that the man has a good job, the lady has a good job somewhere. But what we do not know is that this man is obviously an arm robber. There could even be a crew doing this. He could probably not just be the only one. But, but what was this guy thinking? What was he thinking that he could continue that he was going to make money, make wealth, become famous from being an arm robber. I mean, we have seen people like John Lyon <laughs> who was into kidnapping and he was still caught. There are people like Hush Poppy who was in jail for scam, for fraud. And then you have Evans the kidnapper and then you have this one also constituting a nuisance in the United States. Well, that's all I have for this guy. I, I'm going to keep an eye on the case. I'm going to see to the end of it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video. 
please like and subscribe to my channel i hope to bring you guys more stories and to my fans who have been wondering why i haven't posted a lot in the past few weeks i apologize i am so sorry i have just been very busy but i promise i'm gonna you know uh drop some few videos for you guys in the coming weeks and um, gradually i'll be back fully like i used to post frequently thank you for checking in i see your comments thank you again for watching and have a good day